into the studio and we'll think about it together. Great idea! Neat. I always like it when Jeannie's back in the studio with us, don't you? Hi there! Hey, welcome back! Oh, I don't have to whisper anymore! No, no, no. You can be your normal Jeannie self. I can. Oh, let's figure out how many eagles! Okay, so here's what we know. Four eagles land in the trees. Yes. Okay, now 11 eagles are in the trees. Mm. The question is, how many eagles were in the trees to start? Well, can you help me figure that out? Let's work on it together. Let's think about how we'd write this as a, as a math sentence. So we know that we have 11 eagles now, and we knew that four uh, landed. So if mm -hmm. we had 11 eagles now, and we knew that four had just landed, if I remove those four, so if I subtract, subtract the four. Subtract, that's right. Then the <laughs> answer, whatever it is, and we don't know what it is yet, but whatever it is, that's gonna be, that's gonna represent how many eagles were in the trees at the start. Uh-huh. Because we have 11 now, four joined, so when we take away those four that joined, mm -hmm. we'll have the starting number. Perfect. Okay, so we can actually model this, and one way to model it is to say, well, let's just take the 11, Let's take the 11 eagles and represent them by connecting blocks, let's say. And we could actually model this like this. So that entire length is representing the 11 eagles. Oh, great! Okay, now what do we know? We know that four just landed. So if I now modify my model a little teeny bit, just a little. I'm going to draw a little line right here, and that's going to represent the four. The four? Exactly. Oh, Brilliant. I see. I and see. And you see, and here it is. So here are the four that just landed. Mm -hmm. They landed. Oh, there they are. So the, the, the remaining ones, this quantity here, mm -hmm. which is right here, that represents the ones that we must have had at the start. Oh, so we should count those. Exactly. And if I do that, let's see what we get. One, two, three, four, five, six... Seven. Exactly. Oh. And so we see there must have been seven to begin with. And so we see that the answer is going to be seven. And we can actually check this. And you know how? How? Well, if there were seven at the beginning mm -hmm. and then four joined, mm -hmm. we can actually write an addition sentence. We can say seven plus four. And that's going to equal how much we have all together. And we just already figured that out. Because how many did we have at the very end? We saw the total number is... Eleven! Brilliant, Jeannie, as always. And so we see that this is a little check to see that if we add the two parts, we get the whole, the entirety of all of them. And so in this case, we see the answer is seven eagles were in the trees to start with. And there is the answer. Wow! There were seven eagles, but in total there were eleven. Oh, I wonder... You know what that means, Professor? What does that mean, Jeannie? Well, more eagles are flying in and going away. We can just keep solving this math puzzle all day. Hey, well, let's go outside and count and see where we are. Oh, 